this is extremely personalized to even me. Like, I wouldn't notice if it's uh, AI. What's going on, guys? In this video, we're going to build a simple high ROI email system that you can implement today. The system is going to completely transform your warm campaign, specifically if you're running, you know, PPC ads or Google ads or SEO. It's one of those systems that can actually like triple, if not quadruple your conversion rate. I've built those sort of systems for a variety of companies at this point, and I, it's the same uh, system that I use for my own company. So I'm going to show you exactly how to do it in this video so stay tuned okay so the first thing I'm gonna show you is the actual form so we have a simple form that I just built um, it's, it's just a type form so I'm just using type form here you can use U form uh, Google forms notion forms uh, jot forms any form you like you can use web flow form you know uh, you can embed it in your website I'm just using type form right here for this uh, example and then what we're, we're asking our lead is just a first name last name just a generic generic uh, form email uh, company and then we're actually asking for their website URL so um, typically a lead that comes into our website it's going to be a b2b service they are asking for our website maybe they want to sell us a service or whatever um, typically all the companies ask for their we your website so the actual deliverable is actually going to be amazing so you guys will see it I, I will not show you the the end result right now just because I want to walk you through the system first of all and then what we have here is we have a make.com system so this is the entire system end-to-end I'm going to walk you through it step by step so you can understand basically the logic. So we have a type form response, which is watch a response, which is a, you know, an it's going to run immediately once someone, uh, you know, fills out our form. And then what we're doing here is we're having a sleep module. So essentially when you're building this sort of system, um, each time you're going to, you know, fill out the form, you're going to have a result here, right? But you don't want to do it over and over and again. So you use a model called list responses. So you just list the last response so you don't have to do it over and over again. And the third uh, module is a make uh, HTTP request. We're basically making a request to their website and then we're scraping all their data using a get method. And then the body type is going to be raw, content type is going to be text and we're parsing the response. The next thing, is we're gonna parse the HTML because the when we scrape a website, we're gonna have the HTML. We're gonna parse the HTML, and then what we're gonna do is we we're gonna have a router. Um, so a router here is let's say uh, they didn't input their website. We want to send them an automated message first, an, an automated email first, and then we're gonna send them a human, you know, human-like email, you know, just to make sure we. Uh, cover all our bases. So the first email, let's say they have a website, they input the website. Um, we're gonna uh, check if they put the website and then uh, I just named this monster one because I'm gonna read you through the prompt. So what we're doing here is we're retrieving their case studies, right? And then we're feeding their case studies to another module of GPT-4. We're like, hey, uh, based on these case studies, just generate an, a, an outreach message, just like a two-liner with a very, very casual tone uh, where we acknowledge their, uh, re their recent case study. And uh, we're basically uh, like, you know, showing engagement. And then we're sleeping again uh, just because, uh, you know, in this system, when you run this system, you're going to actually add, put here 300 just because you, you want to make sure it's, uh, you want to make it seem like it's handwritten, right? So we're going to click OK. And then we have Monster 1. I just named it Monster 1. I'm just going to have to name it uh, Create, uh, let's say, Write Personalized Email. So uh, in this right here is we're having a very, very templated email, uh, which is going to be like this. So text response is going to be, Hey Saad, not too, of, not too of often you see a CEO who's turning 10K into a 90K monthly, emailing you because I'm also passionate about scaling businesses. So we're scraping their data from their website and we're sending this email. Just out of, uh, just out of the office right now, but do you want to chat later today when I'm back? Happy to jump on a call. If so, send me a couple of times and I'll book a call in your calendar today. Tomorrow works too. Thanks. And then we have the uh, the 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 PS line. PS, love what you did with the automated outreach system, turning 10K into a 90K monthly is truly impressive. So this shows that we went through their website, we scraped, we looked through their case study, and we actually understand 
uh, why they came to our website. And then uh, we're sending this email right here, which is going to be just a plain text sent from my iPhone. And I add the sent from my iPhone just for extra conversion rates. Um, and then if they don't have a website, we're just sending them a transactional email, which is going to be the same as the transactional email on top. And then we have a human email, which is going to, which is going to be all the time the same. So thanks for reaching out currently out of the office. Uh, right now, do you want to chat later today when I'm back, back, uh, have to jump, happy to jump on a call. If so, send over a couple times and I'll book a call on your calendar. Okay, great. So let's actually build this from scratch again. Okay, so I'm gonna go to my type form. I'm gonna go create new form, and then I'm just gonna use a. I'm just gonna build like a generic form. I'm gonna click start from scratch, and then what you want is contact info, and then for the design you can put whatever design you want. I'm just gonna use this one, and then you have first name, last name. We don't want the the phone number. So I'm just gonna go to constant, and then click on this i uh, icon right here. And then what we want is we're gonna click on add content and then we're gonna look for URL. So URL, website. So yeah, that's this is where they're gonna input their website and we're just gonna click publish. Uh, we're gonna copy this and then what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna go in here and then we're gonna go to make. I'm just gonna, I just went to all scenarios and then I'm gonna click create new scenario just like the way you always do it. Create new scenario. This plus button, you're gonna look for type form and then you're gonna look for watch responses. So uh, once you have that, you're gonna click on add, and then you're gonna name this, I'm just gonna name it YouTube example build, and then you're gonna click on connection, you're gonna click on add, and you're just gonna update it. So I'm just gonna name it YouTube example build. S click save. And then you're gonna click on accept. Just you're doing your random authorization uh, shenanigans. And then what you have to do is you're gonna check for the uh, form ID. So the form ID, so I have two names. So first of all, I need to, let's name it another name. Um, let's see. Just so we avoid duplicates. So I believe this is the last one. Yes, yeah, so this is the one. So I'm just gonna name this, I don't know, I'm just gonna name it uh, YouTube example form. And then I'm just gonna click save. All right, so sweet. So I'm gonna go back to my make scenario and then refresh. And then I'm gonna look for my YouTube example form. Click enable, click yes, and click on save and click okay. So now every time a lead comes to our website in our form, uh, we're gonna receive a response from this watch responses. So I'm gonna use the two-step sleep module right here. So we're sleeping for like one second, and then what we're doing is we're retrieving the, the responses using the module list responses. And then I'm gonna explain to you why we're doing it. So again, let's update our connection. Go back here, go to YouTube example build. You have to, again, update your connection. Let's do it, accept. This is the third coffee, by the way. Um, go to form ID and then go to YouTube example form. Click on it and then click on okay. So let's go to our form and actually fill it. So it's going to be my new form, I, I believe, is this one, yeah. So we're just gonna go ahead and let's just put Peter Parker, and for the website, we're just gonna use my own website, which is this one, my email, sorry. And company is going to be my process, my company, and then my website is going to be my website, myoprocess.com. And then we're gonna run this, once, and then we're gonna click Submit. So once we click Submit, we're gonna receive everything here. So now, uh, you're gonna understand why I put the less responses, because now when I wanna like continue building the system, I don't have to go back to this form and fill it out again so I can retrieve the system end to end. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna unlink this, and then I'm just gonna put this right here so I can start the system from here, so sweet. So now that I have it, I can see that the, the responses here are included the response ID, so I can just click on it, 
And then if I click on run, I'm just gonna retrieve all the information right here. So I can just start building from, from this step right here, you know? So this is pretty awesome, you always do it. And then what we're doing now is we want to scrape their website data. So we're gonna click on add and we're gonna look for HTTP, make a request, all right? So we're gonna make a request uh, to their URL, URL, which is going to be um, their website. Let's see, where is the website? Yeah, here's the website. So it's going to be a get request. Um, body type is going to be a raw and content type is going to be text and parse response, click on yes. So sweet. Once we have that, what we need is an HTML to text module. So we're, the response from the HTTP request is going to be data and data is going to be HTML. So what we're going is going to take this HTML, we're going to return it to text so we can feed it to GPT. All right. So the next thing we want is uh, we want a um, ignore module. So let's say they didn't put their website. So we're gonna look for ignore. We're gonna go to cl uh, click on uh, flow control and look for ignore. And then you're gonna put it into the HTTP. And then the next thing we want is we want to have a router. So we're gonna click on flow control and then we're gonna click on router and then we're gonna put this bad boy here and then this is where it gets, this is where we're gonna start, you know, uh, the actual GPT form and the prompt engineer. Um, actually, we need to unlink this uh, because it's not gonna work like this. We need to put the HTML after the, you know, the router. Only if the website works, we're gonna parse the HTML. All right, sweet. So we're gonna uh, click on Okay, so now that we added the router, uh, we need to add a filter right here. So the condition is going to be the text, you know, the text uh, parsed ex exists. And then uh, let's say website exists and then click OK. And then we're going to have another module, I believe, which is going to be GPT-4 right now. Okay, so we added the email. Um, let's see. Actually, no, we, we don't need to put this right here. We need to put this text right here. So condition exists and then website works. And then click OK. And then just remove this filter right here. Just remove this. And then what you have to do is this is the first email, which is going to be transactional. email uh, so we have the transactional email and then the next thing is we need to um, yeah so the first the second thing we need to add a sleep module we're gonna sleep here for like three seconds and then we're gonna you know add it that later so we're gonna sleep and then what we have to do is we need to send the human email um, so the human email is going to be, let's put the email right here. And then what we have to do is we're gonna, you know, uh, I'm gonna show you how we add this. So I'm just gonna go back to my old scenario because I don't wanna do the work once again. I'm just gonna copy this. And then I'm gonna read you the prompt. So the prompt is, essentially what we're doing is we are taking the information from the website and we're saying, hey, Analyze the website scrape data and identify specific case studies, specific case, uh, a, specific, a specific case study or success, uh, or success story that demonstrates how the company helped their customer. Address the following, which customer pain points, uh, which products or service, what were the measurable results, what features, all of that, yada, yada, all of this. Um, based on these insights, output only the case study focusing on the customer's challenges, the, the solutions provided, and the measurable results provided. So what we're doing now is we're just basically telling GPT, hey, uh, just digest all, just digest all the information and just give us the case study. The text content is going to be text, and then the next thing. is going to be the uh, Monster 2. So the Monster 2 is going to be, um, basically, we're saying, hey, you are a conversational 
So the second thing is going to be uh, filling out the templates. So here's the templates. We have a uh, templated email, which is, hey, love what you did with the results that we're gonna retrieve from the case study, particularly the way, and we're adding the results here, it's clear that the strategy here added here. So what we're doing is we're basically outputting one line and we're kind of dividing the GPT because G these the, the you gotta understand guys, these the way these models work is you have to ask them one specific thing at a time just to have the most uh, consistent and the best results all the time. So we're gonna click okay and then we're gonna remap this later. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna, again, send the real email. So we're gonna remove this filter right here, just like this, and click okay. And then uh, we're gonna update our connection, obviously, like all the time. Click on here, and then for the recipient, it's going to be the email that that person put. And then the subject, let's just do the same copywriting that we have here. Uh, I already worked on the copywriting, so I don't have to you know, do it once again. So uh, let's see. Uh, hey, first name, I believe. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna show you is the actual system. So I'm just gonna walk you through the entire logic of the system. So we're using Typeform, and Typeform is just a, you know, just a form that you can use in your website. You can embed it. You can use Google Forms, uh, Jot Form, U Form, you know, Notion Forms, any form you like. Uh, we're just using Typeform because I like it. Um, and then the next thing we do in is. Um, basically we have a sleep module. The sleep module is essentially why I put it is basically when you build those sort of systems in your testing, you don't want to fill out the form each time to retrieve the responses. Um, you want to just use the less module, right? Just to retrieve the last, you know, uh, form, the, the last form responses that you sent. So yeah. And then the next thing we're doing is we're scraping their website data. Okay, so now that we build the system, let's actually try it. So let's just go to our first name. Let's just do um, let's just do Peter and Smith. Peter Smith. Email is going to be my email, and then company is going to be my process, my own company, and then the website is going to be my website, myoprocess.com. Click submit, and then let's wait. So we're gonna have to receive the first transactional email and then the second one. Okay, so we received the email. So the first email is Peter. Hey, Peter. Thanks for reaching out. Thanks for filling out our form. We're looking forward to learning more about you in my process. And one of our team members will get back to you shortly. So watch your email. The second one is, uh, which, where's the second one? Ah. So, hey, Peter, not too often you see a B2B leader who's been crushing it with AI driven lead generation. Emailing you because I'm passionate about AI driven sales systems too. Wow, if I received this, I would actually like jump on a call. So, so PS, love what you did with the software company, particularly the way you implemented a strategic AI-driven lead generation system to boost their operation, generating over 100K in new revenue with just a quarter. Seriously impressive. Wow. Honestly, I, this, uh, this email, if, this is extremely personalized to even me. Like I wouldn't notice if it's... Uh, AI. There you go. You have an end-to-end -end system. You can build this sort of system for for a bunch of clients. You can use it in your own business, and this is essentially gonna you know quadruple your conversion rates. Um, basically, an, an extremely customized, personalized, uh, you know, AI email responder. So I'm just going to leave the blueprints in the description. And thanks so much for watching this video. And then I'm going to catch you soon. Cheers.